remember guys, this box is the AC PC board and uh, it's located in different different dimensions according with the dimension of the of the generator no? in this board is an insulation material you have the terminals where the faces neutral and ground are coming from the back end and the same hot hot neutral ground are going out into the breaker no this is the like a transfer the box no okay if you remember in a, in different slides according with the configuration of those you have a 60 <laughs> uh, hertz uh, single phase 60 hertz double phase depending how you configure those positions here okay what is the meaning of that in this point i can isolate the phase number one with the phase number two and i can check the condition of the winding because i have those cables coming from the back end i can remove those terminals and verify with the megometer how is the condition of each of each winding and you know okay the generator is good the generator is no good i want to check for example this generator with the megometer okay look guys follow me i have phase one i have phase two i have neutral i'm going to remove phase one and phase two i'm going to isolate the faces here you see i have both faces here uh, I am going to check the faces. Okay, what is the process? Once again, the process is uh, one one uh, terminal into the ground, mm -hmm. into the uh, ground, into the case, and the other one the hub. into the hub. And uh, look at this. Uh, we have a zero in this point and infinite in this point. Everybody, follow me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Go. Go ahead. Okay, that one was maximum 100, you see? 100, 100 mega ohms, 200, 500, and 1,000. 100 mega ohms is good? No. No, that's not good. This is one phase. Other phase, the second phase, zero is in short. Okay, sorry, Mr. Customer, that generator is out. No, but the, the engine is good. You, I know, my friend, the engine is good. Normally, when the customer call, the engine is running, but it's not producing power. Oh, but in that phase, in one phase I have one, yeah, I know, in this phase it's producing power, a little, no? But uh, when you apply load, yes, when I apply heavy load, the, uh, okay. Because that phase is, will be br broken in a couple of days. Pay attention. The problem is you need to prepare a lot of conditions. You need call, oh yeah, yeah. I need to call the, con the contractor of the air condition to remove that air condition unit. Oh, I need other contractor to remove that water maker. Pull the motor out. I need other contractor to remove the bank of batteries because the bank of batteries is over the generator. Wow, seven batteries HD. Finally, four days later, you have access. <laughs> and when you have access, you need to put an, an iframe, you know, with Camelon to lift this one because this is a small generator, but normally are bigger. You need to lift the generator, suspend the generator, put blocks, separate back end. It's a big, big job. I did one similar to the yellow one that is outside. I removed the back end. I put the back end in the, in the swim platform and, and a helicopter uh, lifted and bring to Miami uh, <laughs> in Tortola. I, I spent six days removing from inside of the engine room to the swim platform. The helicopter lifted and bring to Miami. I wait one week, they return the back end, and once again, beam, 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 until the point, connect again, connect all of those wires, and start again the generator. Okay, this is when I have a suspicious that uh, both phases are too low. For example, one phase produce 30 volts AC, and the other 50 volts AC. You check with the megometer, and this is the consequence. Okay, other common question is, my generator is, uh, I, I don't know, suddenly I have 180, 190 in one, in one phase and 50 volts in the other phase. What is the meaning of that? Ah, if you added 190 plus 50 is 240, but one, one phase is too high and the other one too low. This is open neutral, all right? This is an uh, ABYC question. There are two ABYC questions related with that and the answer is an open neutral. 
Okay, this is the information related with the high voltage, low voltage, or no voltage. Other common problem is uh, no voltage. I open the AC panel, I have zero voltage in phase one and zero voltage in phase two. Be careful because uh, probably the generator is producing, but one fuse was broken. The majority of the generators, they have fuses. This one in particular, they have one fuse for the voltage regulator. When the people try to adjust too much the voltage regulator, blown this fuse. When the fuse is blown, after that you have zero volts in each phase. It's not because the generator is damaged. It's not because the generator is not producing power. It's because this fuse is out. Other fuse is for the battery charger. When you try to crank the generator in the morning, uh, the battery of the generator is too low. Probably this fuse is not working and the alternator inside is not charging the battery. And uh, other fuse for input DC. I have a short in the harness and this fuse is blown. Normally when this fuse is out, the majority of the generators they have inside, you remember the stop relay, run relay, yeah? You remember the relay? And they have a main fuse. In some uh, generator the fuse is here, in other generator the fuse is here. You see? In this one is here. Those fuses are very important. Before you, you check other things, verify the fuses. Each manufacturer have different fuses. This one have a one fuse, only one fuse. Okay, number two, I don't have power. Verify this breaker, the main breaker, the main output breaker, the main output breaker. Probably the breaker is damaged, or probably the, the breaker internally, the thermal contactor of the breaker is broken. And uh, you, you feel that the breaker engage or disengage, but the internally is open. You need verified with no power, check continuity. It's closed, no PP, no continuity, it's not working. The breakers are damaged frequently uh, because uh, the breakers absorb a lot of temperature. The breaker pass the current completely all the time and absorb a lot of, a lot of temperature. And uh, they are damaged. They are damaged, suddenly they are damaged. Remember that uh, through the breaker, through that breaker you pass the hots and the neutrals. And uh, I remember in one uh, generator, the problem of uh, the neutral connection was in the breaker, no, no here in the, in the PC board. In the PC board, the connection neutral and ground was good, but uh, one phase 190 and the other phase 50. And the problem was on the breaker. The breaker, the, when the breaker closed, only interrupt the hot, the neutral no. The neutral was open all the time. Yeah, that was on the breaker. Check the breaker. The only way to check the breaker is with no power, checking continuity. If you have suspicious that uh, in some cases the breaker closed, in some cases no, replace the breaker, all right? Other generators, they have a kill switch. Ah, here, kill switch, here, this one. Those kill switch are switches to interrupt the purple cable to feed the fuel pump and the solenoid of the fuel injection pump. Uh, in some cases, the people working, re replacing fuels, uh, uh, filters, oil, uh, service, they move that switch and uh, the kill switch is off and the generator never starts.